Hello, cruising world. Me oh, look, I didn't do my, didn't do my jacket up. Got to keep it neat and tidy, right? Oof. Hello, cruising world. Mick the suit guy with you today. It's Monday. Monday is tips day. And as I said after last week's episode, I have got two weeks worth of tips here from a mystery person. And I'm not even sure if I read them out or not. Because I was going through my paperwork and I found it. And I'm like, did I do this? I don't remember having a page with that many tips on it. So I'm going to do it. I and, and again, I never know who sent them because I didn't write the name down. What happens is when you send me these tips, either by messenger or by email, I copy paste it onto a Word document. I print it out and I try and add the name on it. And then I don't read it. I just copy it and paste it. And then um, I put them in a pile. So if these are repeats, everybody makes a mistake. As the Dalek said, climbing off the dustbin. That's a Doctor Who joke for you. Almost a dad joke. You call them trash cans. We call them dustbins. What do you want from me? Anyway, before I do these tips from the mystery person, uh, last week I mentioned, because uh, Stephen was talking about how he, he has like uh, some areas he keeps all his crew stuff in boxes. So I mentioned that I had one with hats. So I thought I'd share some of my hats with you. So I wore, deliberately wore this suit today for the hat. But uh, I'm going to show you some of my others. I've got a, uh, got a cow hat. Goes in my cow suit. We should. It does fit. There you go. So uh, whenever we wear the cow suit, we go to the steakhouse. Boom! I'm all set. I got some. Uh, I got a load of Christmas ones. That's Christmas flamingos. Uh, whenever England are playing, I got an England football England hat. These aren't really cruise ones. Uh, uh, and more Christmas. Tell me lightning. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Ah, oh, here's a good one. Thanksgiving. I got a turkey. What else have I got here? Oh, look at that. I got another turkey. I didn't know I had two. Double down for Thanksgiving. What do you want? Boom. Oh! Who knew I had this one? Yes. I can feel it falling down. Get up. Broken neck giraffe. I'll work on that. What else have I got in here? Oh, yeah, I've got a moustache suit. So uh, I have a moustache. And the cool thing about this is it actually peels off and it becomes... You don't even know how I am anymore, do you? Boom. Stick it back on there. Ah, what else? Oh! My goodness! How could I forget this one? Huh? Huh? Flamingo? Yeah? Now, the funny thing is, as I'm going through these, I'm actually going on Carnival Radiance. Uh, I've actually already been on when I, this video comes out. But I already put my suits to one side. And finding these hats, I'm wearing my flamingo suit. I'm looking at them right now, though, right behind the camera. I'm wearing my giraffe suit, and I'm wearing my cow suit. Looks like there's going to be a week of hats. What else have I got in here? Anything interesting? I've got another England jester hat if I go to an England football game. Football, not soccer. Oh, yeah, this might be my favorite. I have a ho, ho, ho Christmas suit. So I have a... Ho, 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 hat. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Christmas, Christmas. Oh! I have a flamingo bucket hat. That's the trouble when you have these boxes of stuff and you don't use them very much. You forget what's in them. Hats all over the floor now. Uh, oh, yeah. A Ipswich Christmas hat. Ipswich, best football team in the world, in my opinion. And yep, that's about it. Yep, so I got some hats. For those that doubted me. Oh yeah, this is huh, this is the very funny Christmas hat. Anyways, all right. You can go. <sighs> Sorry, mystery man. I'm eating into your tips. I'm gonna wear your hat though. Do you have any hats? Let's get some interesting looks. Next week, hat week. What other suits am I wearing next week? That I've got to find one. Oh, yeah, I've got a smiley face one. I've 
got to try and find a smiley's face out and a Tetris one. Might be hard finding a Tetris. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, all right, on with the tips. Number one, we got three this week, four next week. Number one, Alchemy Bar. If you can't decide which drink to order from the menu, ask the bartender alchemist to make you one. They will ask you for your favorite ingredients, drink preferences, and then create a drink just for you. Boom. That's very true. Can be hit and miss though, because I tried it. And I'm a beer drinker 99% of the time, but every now and then I will try something different. Uh, but about the only liquor I really like is weird, because it's Perno or aniseed liquor. Don't ask me why. Well, I can tell you why, because that's what I drank when I was growing up. And that's what everybody drinks, this is what you're used to drinking, right? So, I asked them to make me one in the alchemy bar. Uh, I won't give it away who it is by saying his name is Nicola, because like 80% of the bartenders in the alchemy are called Nicola. Bit crazy though, this one. Anyway, <clears throat> he uh, put brown liquor in it. And I really, really, really don't like brown liquor. I'm one of these people, I have no idea why people like whiskey or bourbon, because the smell of it makes me want to vomit, quite frankly. Each to their own, not saying you're wrong, just not for me. So I would add to that, especially when they're asking your preferences, make sure they know what you don't like, as well as what you like. Mm, double down tip, double down tip. But yeah, it's a very good thing about the alchemy. You've got your set list. I will have a quick fix every now and then, maybe once a, every couple of days or once a day, I don't know. Um, but yeah, totally, perfectly fine, perfectly fine to do. Uh, Julie always gets the deal closer. She won't branch out, but she should. Learn new worlds. Don't stick with the same. Expand your horizons. Number two, the steakhouse bar is a quiet place to have a drink even if you are not eating in the steakhouse. Some guests were eating at the bar. Solo travelers, possibly. Travelers, possibly. Very true. This is very true. If it's busy, you can definitely go in there and have a drink. Depending on the, the steakhouse, it's a small bar sometimes or a larger bar. And you can even eat at the bar if the steakhouse is full at their discretion. Because um, I've seen people do that. Uh, now, the steakhouse bar, for example, on Horizon, it's very small. Uh, I know this very well because uh, everybody would go to Alchemy Bar. Because on the Horizon, if you've not been on, Alchemy Bar, Steakhouse, Sushi, Teppanyaki, they're all right, right there. So it's perfect before you go for dinner, have a drink. But the Alchemy Bar doesn't serve beer. I didn't want a quick fix or anything like that. I wanted a beer. So I would go in the steakhouse, grab a beer. And I would bring it back out because everybody else is at the uh, Alchemy Bar. But it's very small. And that's when I saw people eating at the bar because the steakhouse was full. You know, a very popular place, steakhouse. Uh, Alex was the bartender. He looked after me. I'd walk in there. He, he knew I was coming. He, and away we go. But you go into a, a steakhouse like, for example, on the Spirit class ships, like on the Pride or the Miracle Spirit, Legend, stuff like that. Those steakhouse bars, way bigger. So, yeah, you can totally do that. Not a bad idea. I mean, me personally, I don't want a quiet bar. I want some energy and, and, and noise, but no, not everybody's like that. Right? I don't think I ever read these tips out because I don't remember them. And they're good. If they were bad, I'd remember them more. But I don't think I read these out. Number three, last one for today. Serenity area can get busy on sea days, but most people choose the clamshells or lounges. We prefer the shade, so we chose the covered seating area near the bar. Nice padded seats with armrests and a table that can be used as a footrest. Now, I don't know what ship you're on to say that. I, it sounds like you're on spirit class from, from where those ships are because they got a nice area like that near there. Um, but yeah, the, I, I will say this because I do my ship tour videos like every morning. Because I try and do it like at, at 6.30 when the sun's coming up before it's too busy in the restaurants and stuff like that. Just for you. So you can get a nice clean look at a virtually empty ship. Uh, but it's not in the dark. And I will go through the Serenity deck and those clamshells already have people in them. I believe a lot of people sleep in them overnight. If you want my honest opinion. But I'm not going to knock on the clamshell and say, hello, I'm doing a survey. Did you stay in here all night? No. No, I'm not going to do that. But those clamshells are very popular. And... Um, you know, I would imagine they'd be easy to for these stupid towel hogs to come and snag first thing in the morning too. Because are you really going to look around into a clamshell that's at the very front? But you see a towel, you're probably going to turn around and walk away. But yeah, so um, the, the, the good tip for something like that is just that the area you want to go to, because it's going to differ on different ships. Um, like in the Serenity area, 
on the pride there's a this is why i think you're you're looking at that area it's near the bar um it's undercover but you go out on like the horizon you're not gonna have that same area but yeah go go assess the the serenity area if that's the particular area you're interested in and see what it's like on that specific ship before you go back the next day maybe scope an area out you think would be good um but yeah I, i'm I'm pretty sure you're talking about a spirit class ship there by describing the shade with the overhang. Anyway, four more from the mystery man next week. <sighs> Sorry, forgot about it. If you put your name in the comments, I will give you a shout out like every week for a month. An apology. Subscribe. Send me your tips. Send me your cruising traditions. Send me a picture of your hat. Whatever you want to do. I got a Facebook page. Join it. Put a picture of you and a hat on it. I will see you later, Cruising World. Until more tips. And we're going to keep the same suit on because when you do multiple weeks, you get donated or not donated, assigned a suit. Uh, basically, what that means is I'm going to turn the camera off and start and then do the next ones in about 30 seconds in the same suit. So it's not that impressive. But I could pretend. Secrets coming out everywhere. I will see you later, Cruising World. Any questions? Email me anytime. CruisingSuitGuy at gmail.com. I promise I'll reply as soon as possible. Want to book a cruise or any type of travel? We are travel agents. Check out our site, EliteTravelConnection.com or email me, Mick at EliteTravelConnection.com. We are here for you. Finally, subscribe, please. Pretty please. You know you want to. Go on. I won't beg you. Okay. I'm begging. Please. Subscribe. Thank you.